Hello, my name is Jay and welcome to my YouTube video. In this video, I want to show you how to create the running total query in Microsoft Access. So over here, I have two, um, two different type of data sets. And for the data set simple uh, table, I have a very simple data set. So basically just the, uh, with this table, I have a sequential key column which indicates the order of the uh, the value and also have the value column which is the value that I want to aggregate for my running total and for the other data set I have the almost exact uh, same data set except that I have the category column for the data set category table I want to create the running total based on the category name so we'll start with the uh, the simple running total. So basically just the value. And to do that, I will go to the create tab and I'll create a new uh, query design. And this will open the query design window. And I'm going to make the, the window a little bit smaller so it's easier to see. And I'm going to use the, the SQL view. So under the uh, view design option. Oops, let me pick the query uh, window. And I want, I want to pick the, the SQL view. And so the query is pretty easy. So first you want to do the select statement and found. So the found will be the table source. So the table source will be found. Data sets uh, underscore simple. And I'm going to give the earliest name T1. And next you want to simplify the um, the columns that you want to retrieve. So I want to retrieve the value column. And the next will be the uh, running total column. So to create the running total, you want to uh, write a sub query. Basically it's uh, open parenthesis, select, and sum uh, the value column and from the data set simple table. And where, and the where condition is basically where all the metric happen. So where T1, and which is the outer table right here, where T1 uh, sequential key, so sequential key is greater or equals to uh, sequential key or from the subquery. And so close parenthesis, so when you finish. And so I'm going to name the column as running total. And when it's finished, so I'm going to go to the design tab again, and I'm going to click on run. And this will create the running total based on the value column. So 10, uh, 30, 60, and 100. So 60 plus 40 is 100. And 150 plus 60 is 210, and so on. And to create the uh, running total uh, based on category or grouping and I'm going to close the query right here and I'm going to create a new query. So query design and close these and I'm going to go into the SQL view. And I'm going to make the window a little bit small again. And so let me close the simple data set and let me open the uh, data sets category table. And let me just put these two uh, side by side. Okay, and so the, the query is uh, pretty similar. So select from the uh, table. So they are set category. And I'm going to give the table alias name uh, T1. And I'm going to extract the category column. So category. And the value column. And I want to create the uh, running total using the subquery. So sum value from data sets category <clears throat> and where uh, T1 sequential key is greater or equals to uh, sequential key from the subquery table. And since I want to create the running total by category, so I want to uh, add a new uh, condition. So and T1 category is equals to category from the uh, subquery table. 
and close parenthesis so us running total now if we just run uh, this query so design and run oops some value from oh I forgot the slot okay and run <clears throat> and here's the uh, the output it's a little bit messy so and let's go back to organize the data set a little bit more so let me go back to the uh, SQL view and I want to sort the, uh, the data sets by category then by the value and I want to sort the value by from uh, small to a largest value so send by ascending order and round again oops oh order by sorry order by now this output is much more organized so if we just uh, check the, the result so 10, 40, and 90, 160 for category A and for category B 20, 40 plus uh, 20 plus 40 is equals to 60 and 120 and 200 and so on so this is everything I want to cover in this video and if you like my video or find my video useful, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and tell you guys soon. Bye bye.